everyone, this is Frank here. We're going to talk about the different kind of cabinet doors. People are so confused and I understand it's confusing and mainly it's our fault. Contractors and, uh, and dealers in, of the industry confuse people even more because they don't use the right terms to, uh, to describe the doors. It's very simple if you follow me here, okay? So basically 99% of cabinet doors are made by two different materials. It's either gonna be wood, that could be maple, cherry, oak, you name it, but it's either wood or MDF. You know what MDF is? It's that highly pressed sawdust material. Uh, now it's called, it, they call it HDF. So it went from medium density fiberboard to high density fiberboard. It's the same thing, it's just more compact. You'll see that on Depot when you buy baseboards, crown molding to, for, for, your, uh, for your ceiling, it's all MDF. Now, there are other doors, you know, thermofoil, laminate doors. There's, you hear these names and it's confusing because people think it's a different material. So hear me out. Painted MDF, thermofoil doors, and laminate doors, the core, it's MDF. So you can have it painted, laminated, hard laminate like this in this case, or you can have it vinyl. This is vinyl. It's wrapped around an MDF core. So again, there's three types of MDF doors. The painted, and we call just that MDF. Then we have the thermofoil and the laminate, but they're all MDF core, all of them, all right? And then there is wood, and wood comes painted or stained. So you got basically two major options. It's either painted, this is a wood door, or stained, all right? Now, let's talk about the three MDF options. So the painted MDF, it's probably the only option to a painted wood door. So why would you pick a painted MDF versus a painted wood door. Let's put it this way. An MDF door, it's one piece door. See, it's one. The panel is carved out by a machine, then it gets sanded and painted, all right? Now, the wood door is made of five different pieces. One, two, three, four, five. You can't see it here, but if I get closer, you'll see this line here. So this is where the seam is of the four pieces that make the frame. So what's the advantages? What are the advantages and disadvantages of um, MDF painted door or wood painted door? See, until you don't chip the locker, the paint, MDF, it's the most durable door. As long as the MDF, it's nice and sealed, it's fantastic, right? You're not gonna have any cracks, any seams visible, it's all good. The problem is that in real life, we tend to chip our cabinet doors because you hit it with the spoon and then the big pot falls and all that stuff. Once you chip it, MDF, like I said before, it's a highly pressed sawdust material. So it basically acts like a sponge when in, t in contact with um, water, with moisture. So you'll see an MDF door, especially the two where the sink is, absorb water and starts to swallow. They become much thicker, the paint peels off. And even if you try to fix them with touch of paint, they won't take it very well. And at one point you'll be fed up and you wanted to replace them. Now, the positive thing about wood is yes, you can still chip the paint. Paint is the same. They use the same locker to finish MDF or, or wood. However, when exposed to water, wood can handle way better than MDF. So you can go get some touch of paint, touch it up, please the eyes, and the door will last many years to come. Now, the negative side about painted wood doors is that line that I showed you. So because wood shrinks and expands all the time, when you go from one season to the other, different level of moisture in the house, the locker cannot follow that movement. 
So you'll have those random lines everywhere on your kitchen, but they're very tiny, they're micro cracks. The door is not separating. It's just the locker that can't stretch with when the wood um, shrinks. Usually they don't get worse. Whatever appears at the f first season change, that's, it stays like that unless the door is defective. Now, these are the painted doors MDF or what, like I said before, we have another two options for the MDF core. The thermofoil. Thermofoil doors, like I said, they have the MDF core. And the vinyl, which is a very flexible material, the vinyl wraps around the MDF with heat and um, it can come in, doors can come in different shape. You can have like, this is a, an example of a vinyl door, right? Now what happens, it's an MDF, instead of being painted, they basically melt the vinyl around. Now what happened is this, these are the most unreliable cabinet doors. I mean, we sell them in our um, e-commerce, but I'm always, I always try to be as transparent as possible. You see, the thing is this, they could last 25 years if you're lucky. It really depends how lucky you get, like the batch that you, that you get. Um, a lot of difference makes the environment in your house. If, if it's a very humid home, the vinyl really suffers and you will, you basically start to see peeling off on the edge because there's a lot of tension here. So the vinyl just peels off, um, especially on doors around the stove and around the sink. Or sometimes you have it even on the, across of the, on, on the wall across the room, where there is no humidity, it will start on the pantry, for example, it will start to swallow right in the middle of the panel. Like just, you just get bubble for no uh, obvious reasons. That's just the way thermofoil doors are. Even from the same company I've, after so many years, I noted like even if you get the bad batch, the vinyl just peels off or, or bubbles. So they're not the most reliable. And on, on light colors, I've seen a lot of discoloration through the years if the door if the doors are um, exposed to sunlight, I get that yellowing look pretty annoying, especially after five, six years that they've been exposed to the sunlight. All right, now the other option, the hard laminate doors, it's a different product, especially lately, they have come up with, um, with much better product. Um, this is a piece of laminate doors cut. You can see the MDF and there is the hard laminate. It's about a little less than a millimeter as you can see, it's much harder than, than the vinyl I showed you before. It can take a lot of beating and it's UV resistant, so it won't change color. Um, this is like a fake wood grain look. Um, you can get it like eye gloss. I have actually, you can get it, you can get it white eye gloss. Now, um, what's the negative? Beside being very resistant, very modern looking, like very sleek, of course, easy to clean because there is no other option in door style. So while you can have, oh my God, close to 100 different color options, style-wise, that's all you're gonna get. It's a slab door, so you can decide to go handless or you can put a nice, chunky, industrial-looking handle. Um, but you know, you get some colors that it looks pretty uh, traditional, pretty, pretty country with, uh, with the fake wood veneer, but the style has to be that one. You have no other option. So the good things about these doors is I can take a lot of beating, they're easy to clean, and they're actually quite affordable, all right? There's no warping going on. In all MDF doors, usually there's no warping going on. While with wood, you could have severe warping sometimes, but good companies replace uh, severely warped doors. Now, the let's go back to wood. We talked about the painted option, and obviously the most famous uh, stained option. So you can stain wood and there's so many different wood species, so many different wood stain, depends the stain you, the stain in the wood you pick, you get some enhancement of the grain and sometimes the grain is totally covered from the stain, you can barely see it. Sky is the limit. Um, obviously a stained door presents some level of elegance um, and you cannot get a light kitchen cabinet if you're looking for stain. Like the lightest, it's basically the clear maple. You can get some champagne stain, very out of style, but basically your kitchen uh, will be medium to dark if you decide to go with the stained option. Hopefully I've made this clear for you guys. Please share this video and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.